the blind, the blind nine. nine. Hey, Jesse. Hello, Dick. I mean, Richard. You know, I've asked you not to look into the mirror whenever we're recording this podcast. <laughs> Did anybody ever call you that? Like, when you were growing once. up? You weren't a fan of it? No, they only said it once to me, and they never uh, called me that well, again. Well, I apologize, and please don't dish out punishment on me. I was only joking. Uh, it's okay. I, I would usually tell something like, uh, well, that's what your mama wants, but, you know. Speaking of that, did you follow the uh, group chat at all on Saturday? No, not whenever I'm busy and then I go to look and there's like 1,730. Oh, well, the that, whole yeah. thing, the whole thing, yeah, it was, people were talking about their, your mom's, not your mom, but your mom as in like someone else's mom's tits and all kind of shit. It was pretty nasty. <sighs> Good figure. Uh, but let's uh, get to a little bit of uh, not to the real news. Um, we have a new channel, and last time I looked, there was a game master looking for some people who are wanting to play the Candle Keep. Um, that's the name of the channel. Uh, be sure to go to the available quest on the Knights of the Braille Discord in order to look for there for any games that are you know looking for players. Is it based on Candle Keep Mysteries? Yes, and that's what I'm assuming. Um, that's interesting. All I know is I was asked, you know, they asked if I would create them a text channel and a voice channel, and the nice guy that I am, I did. Is that hard to do? Uh, like, did that take a while or not? The first couple of times, yes, but now I've done it so many times. You yeah, know, it's, it's, it's easy for you. Yeah. Um, but I hadn't done it in a while, so it was like, okay, yeah, got it. You know, it was like Jim, help me. <laughs> uh, in the beginning, yeah, he he would send me nasty emails like, you know, you messed up, you, you did this wrong, you know, how dare you? Nah, not really. I don't think um, Jim has ever been nasty in his well, maybe in his life, but since I've known him, I've never seen him be nasty. Uh, on to other news. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there were some situations where I would have been nasty that he wasn't so. He's yeah. than me. Uh, anyway. Me and, me and Jim have, you know, talked and discussed things that, unfortunately, and fortunately, I will not repeat on the broadcast. They're mostly yeah. all about me and how I'm an asshole, right? No, I'll just say that to your face and everybody that listens knows. Especially <laughs> poor Temple, since you don't like him. I, you um, know what? I cannot wait to meet this coming Saturday, and if he listens, Richard is lying, uh, sir. I never lie. Um, but, you know, it's just some of the things that we've, like, had conversations about that's, mm -hmm. it's between two friends, you know. Yep. But, um, in other news, uh, let's see, did the Candle Keep thing there, um, still, uh, waiting on people to submit their recordings for the audio drama before I can start putting it together, uh, so, you know, and it being voluntary, you know. Ain't like you can actually press people for you know, no. hey, you need to have this because they can come back time. and just be like, Well, I'm doing you a favor, bitch. <laughs> yeah, um, that's why I've been like, Who are you again? Um, no more parts in this, but you know, hey, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it's not on me, you know, I, it's on I, them. I, <laughs> <no>. Uh, <laughs> like the first and, thing you said when I met you was, It's not nothing is my fault, exactly. It's never my fault, sir. Um, I do want to give a shout out to the creators of Mothership, the science fiction horror uh, role playing game that I will be Extravaganza. running. Extravaganza. Yes. Uh, I will be running it not this Saturday, but next Saturday. We will be having our chest session zero this Saturday. Uh, we will be running from the quote unquote zero edition as I do not have the first edition um pdf and all but uh the their server is extremely helpful you know when answering any questions or things that i've run across and uh one of the big wigs of there um his name is sean i think his last name is mccoy but i'm not really sure i can't remember because i usually see like the first name and then go on 
um, says that they are going to work the accessibility into the PDFs. Um, they have just not got have not gotten to that point yet. That's nice to see uh, people that are willing that want everyone to play it. Not, I mean, I, I know the our event is called Everyone Games, but it's nice to know that some people are down with that and feel like, yeah, you should get to play. Well, it's nice that people actually take that into account that everyone games. Yeah, and I've seen some people that are like, oh my gosh, I never thought of this before, and then they're all on board. Yeah, um, and, and that's the thing a lot of people have not thought about. It, and what, so... and people get mad. I'm going to go on a soapbox for a little bit here for a second. If you don't mind. People get mad at that and say, well, this should be built in. Well, if you don't know of any blind people in your life, you may not even think blind people play games. Like, I had someone, I don't remember who it was, but was blown away that I, like, watched movies and TV shows. So, people, you never know what people think, so cut people some slack. Now, if they're, when you ask and they're dicks about it, then that's different. But if they're, at first, they didn't think of it, maybe they truly didn't think of it. Pointing at you. Yeah. Okay. Um... I'm just picking. You but, have to agree to that with that. That was very diplomatic it, and simple. It, it was. And and let me, you know, expound on that a little bit. I'm coming from a site or a side where I had sight, you know, and whenever I lost mine in my car wreck, I, I, I never thought about, you know, blind people playing video yeah, you games. Would. Or, right. Yeah. I mean, because I didn't know anybody. The only person I had ever met that was blind came and played the keyboard in my middle school. Oh, so that's um, probably all you thought they did, too? No, I mean, I, I knew Ray Charles, you know, I knew Ronnie yeah. Millsap and and like that. But, I mean, my experience with them was right. the majority of them played music. And I think my problem is, my experience is, I have way, 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 way more sighted friends and obviously family than blind so i always come at it come at it thinking how would most people that they know me but how would they react right not having known me i mean you know and, and it's the same concept you know like i said I, I i never thought whenever i was sighted about you know blind people going to school or blind people no, working you try to know what the hell they did you yeah, never even I mean, thought about it to be honest Right, I, I didn't, you know, I, it, but it's the same thing as, you know, blind people want to get on their, or low vision people, don't want to exclude you all, um, getting on their high horse and saying, well, you know, people need to make, you know, yada, yada, yada for us. Hey, I you agree know. with that, but they need to be brought up, they need to be, show, like, made aware of it before you just right. expect them to make it that way. Right, and, you know, and, and they want to get all, like, in the South, it's say like hoity-toity. Yep. You know, oh yeah, about, we say that too. Yeah, I about, was called. You know, I was called that in the session last week. By the way, I know. Yeah. I, I call you Hoity Toity all the time. It wasn't you that was. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, they're like, they think or say that well, it should be made accessible to us, but they don't look at the point of view for somebody who's like, you know, say. Why people wheelchair. may never enter in their yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know, they don't look at it from the point of view like. Well, that's accessible to me. Well, what about the person in the wheelchair? What about the person who's a amputee of like an arm or a hand or like you know? Yeah. You yeah. know the situation that you are personally in. You know how you deal with things from your point of view. You know, fortunately for me, I have seen both sides of it: the the sighted side and yeah. the unsighted side. You know, but. I don't know what a person who's an amputee or a person in a wheelchair or a person who is, you know, quadriplegic or, you know, all the other terms. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't yeah. know how they deal with things. They right. do. So teach me. You know. Like, like, I, like I was saying, and like don't you said. Don't be ignorant. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, I, like <laughs> um, if they aren't willing then and get grumpy about it, then yeah, you can complain. But don't come at it expecting everything to be made for you like you're the only one that matters people don't think about these things like i we joked about it before i don't know if on the show or not but we joked about it i had a person come to me and ask me if i could you know would you answer some questions i had and i said sure it was a person that was 
in they were next door basically my study hall room was one big giant room that they divided into it was the learning support room but they gave me half of it and the one person from learning support asked me with a straight face do you bathe yourself so if people that are sighted don't even think blind people can bathe themselves why would they think they'll play their game right seriously you know, you, only you know your circle your abilities you know yep. don't judge somebody else's until you walk a mile in their shoes you know or you know not to put people down who can't walk or maybe you would say something there and, I, and i'm not trying to be funny by saying this it's just know. a saying though i mean yeah yeah you, didn't mean you know for as far as like a person in a wheelchair, you know, don't judge them and their abilities until you roll a mile in their chair. You know. Yep. You know, be be accommodating, <laughs> you know, be willing to learn and to adapt. You know. I mean, I've had blind people before yell at me and you would have thought I would basically cancel me and my only crime was I was dating someone that was sighted. Right. You know. Well, it's because people don't know, you know, and they're yep. most the majority of people are too stubborn and hard headed and yep. unwilling to learn. Um, it's but just like, sad. like, yeah, like, like we were saying, we will be having our se session zero this Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, that part will not be streamed or you know, recorded as far as I am aware. But uh, it will be setting up for the following Saturday when we play session one of Mothership. Uh, really, really looking forward to running this game. Uh, You've been looking forward to that for for, for a while. ever. It feels like. Yeah, um, I tried. Was it the like... first one you converted? Uh, it was in the well beginning, right? Be. I think. Uh, uh, very well, could be. If it was not the first one, it was definitely the second one. Okay. You know, um, but we uh, will be playing that. And like I said, it will be on the Night to the Braille Twitch, which is www.twitch.tv forward slash Braille Night. So be sure to check it out. It will stay up for two weeks on Twitch, but it will also go up on the Night to the Braille podcast as well as the Night to the Braille YouTube channel. Uh, Jesse, do you have any news? The only news I have is that we finished the um, Storm King's... I always forget the name of this campaign. Storm King's Thunder, I think it was called. We yes. finished that last week, and we'll be taking a break this week, and then going into uh, Out of the Abyss. Which we're, go we're, we're going to the Underdark, everybody. And how, and we'll let the cat out of the bag, too. The, the players all decided that they're all going to be small races. So they're, yeah. it's going to be like a group of little bastards. And just from what yeah. I've been told about Fernando and Maxine's characters, I feel like it's they it reminds me of like characters that would be in a Jim Henson-like Dark Crystal movie. I feel like that's what I'm running, the Dark Crystal with all the little characters. Oh, that is. That is really awesome. And I am, of course, running a uh, potbelly pig uh, whose name has been changed from Oscar Meyer to Hoggle Split Hoof. Which... I love the idea you have for that character. Uh, Are you ready for um, no holds barred, bone crunching, hard hitting, high flying wrestling? Listen to all of the action right now on the Audio Wrestling Network. Featuring two decades of storied history and three big leagues. The UWN, EOW, and WOW. Listen to hours of action, drama, and mayhem. If you're a fan of the WWE or AEW, then you won't want to miss this. The Audio Wrestling Network was created by the Visually Impaired. So that means no pictures and no video. But you won't even miss it. Bring a set of headphones, your imagination, and your love of wrestling. Check out AudioWrestlingNetwork.com for new weekly updated content, breaking news, and the very best in audio wrestling. That's AudioWrestlingNetwork.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Audio Wrestling Network, where wrestling is reality. Take a seat and listen for Jesse's reading recommendations. 
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Jesse's Reading Recommendations. And today, I have a book. I know the title. I know the author. I don't have to look up anything. I'm going to recommend to you Promise of Blood, which is book one in the Powder Mage trilogy by Brian McClellan. Now, the Promise of Blood Power Ma Powder Mage trilogy is a flintlock fantasy, I believe it's called. It has a lot to do with guns and gunpowder, gunpowder fantasy, I've heard it be called too. This is about, you follow pretty much two characters, three characters, I think. You follow this general, you follow his son, and you follow a private detective who is looking to see who committed a murder. And their characters all, um, their plot lines all collide, and the neat thing about this is the magic system all has to do with powder. Like, they have to basically, I guess, sniff the powder mage. Yes, so they're crack addicts. Kind of. And there's, like, opiums, <laughs> like, something like opiums involved. Yes. But anyway... I about music, <laughs> but anyway, like, when they inhale this magic, they're able to, like, the, the sun is able to control the trajectory of his bullets and become like a sharpshooter like it's a fascinating book series it's really good uh, the sun's pretty the sun's out. pretty much the only one that's actually addicted to the powder but it's really <laughs> good i think you'll i think everybody will really like really like it and i told richard to read it and i know my recommendations in the past ergo light of the jedi but this i've mm -hmm. actually read the first book and I love it. So I think you guys will all really enjoy it. So it's Promise of Blood by Brian McClellan. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, yeah, I can, I can just see Owen Jim Bob, you know, with the flowers and uh, him being addicted to them. That would definitely fit him. Give him some powder to snort and a gun to shoot. Yep. Uh, yeah. Speaking of uh, Jim, I actually, I think it's something that our all father, as we call him, Jim would actually like the book too. I bet. If only I could tell you what he thought about you. Uh, anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but I actually have a recommendation that I have started, and I'm I'm going just by the uh, person who does the forward of this book. Oh wow! Um, they That's actually right. give him a lot of credit for putting the book together. Um, it's in. There's a ton of aliens book uh, based in the alien world, you know, uh -huh. from the movie yep. on Audible Plus. So anybody who has Audible subscription or membership has access to these for free. I know um, there's that, one. Is there more than one? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, and speaking of that, <laughs> um, I do have links to both the uh, Powder Mage book that uh, Jesse recommended as well as to this particular book that I'm recommending uh, in the show notes so be sure to check those out that but used to be my it. least favorite thing to do when I did the horror podcast was do show notes I hated doing show notes uh, see I put the show notes in and then just copy and paste it into the blurb beautiful um, but the book is called Aliens um, it's either Bug Hunt or Another Bug Hunt um, and the person who put it all together is his name. He's wrote books such as the Joe Ledger series, um, the, uh, the Zombie, the Benny Amora series. His name is Jonathan Mayberry. So, uh, be sure to check out that book. I, like I said, I've started. It's a collection of short stories, um, from the point of view of the colonial marines uh, i think jim will really like that one as well um i'm really really enjoying what i've read of it so far and i'm gonna uh, give before... you a i'm gonna give you a bonus recommendation because i've read that and that book's phenomenal have you yes i actually bought it on kindle when it came out because one of the authors i listened to is he used to have a horror podcast is in it brian Keen. Yes. one of his stories is in it so I, that is an amazing book. Everybody would, I think if you love aliens, you would love it. Yes. Um, but, uh, so far it is really, really good. And, you know, uh, 
I'm I think there's a predator much. one out there too, but I don't know what it's called. Uh, I know he wrote a book called Predator, which was part of the uh, Joe right. Ledger no, there's a, there's a anthology based on the characters yeah. of the predators. Yeah, I never really got into those a whole lot. Oh, okay. Um. I like the alien stuff a, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But before you ask, I'm going to update everyone. I'm currently on the Two Towers book of the Lord of the Rings. How did you like... Okay, so you read The Hobbit. You yep. told me that you liked it, right? Yep. How did you like Fellowship? Mm, I thought there could have been a lot cut out of it. Yeah. Honestly. I feel like that's not as big of a problem in the other books. As um, the beginning of Fellowship's a slog to me. Yeah, I think you could have gotten rid of that. I mean, because it had no point to me. It had no point to the book. Mm -hmm. There was no need that. It was a wasted um, hour, two hours, however yeah. long it was. How's the reader? Uh, Andy Circus is. Yeah, is, is he good? Fantastic. Excuse me. Um, like I said, he's he's no Jim Dale, but he is really really good. I uh, really enjoyed listening to him. Um, but yeah, he, uh, definitely, definitely need to, uh, check those out. Um, you won't get the deal that I got, granted, um, you That's know, an amazing deal, though, Jesus yeah. Lord. <laughs> I just happened to have the extra on Tolkien Day and got The Hobbit and the other three, the newest Did you pay for those, or did you use credit, credits? No, I paid for them. Oh, okay. I paid 20 Somewhere between twenty dollars even and less than twenty one. I cannot believe that is amazing. For let's see, roughly adding up seventy six hours worth of Jeez, audio. oh man. So I got it still so nah, You nah, did. Nah. Yes, you did. Um but uh so yeah, it, it's really good. Um I'll probably have finished all of them by uh <coughs> next week, maybe. Okay. Yeah, on um, my next podcast. Uh, Each week, oh, Jim Bob goes out to round up the most interesting animals, beasts, and monsters so that you can be better prepared. So get ready for Jim Bob's Crittering Time! Hey, everybody. What's Who's up, Jim Bob? Jim Bob? Or Jim Bob, how you doing? I got a gems bomb if you want to see it. Uh, no, that's okay, bud. I don't need to uh, see that. You got to buy me something to eat first. I mean... Is that the way to your heart? Food? Pretty much that and uh, a little bit of whiskey. It's, it's me fishing pole and tackle right here. Oh. But anyway... We're not here to talk about that, though. That's right. Uh, We're talking about something else that I got over this past week. I actually got a whole collection of stuff, but... You know, I can't do it. I can do it all at one time if you want me to, but... No, that's okay. I think it's nice to keep everybody waiting do one one a week. I think it, it's a nice little thing. You think people really uh, listen to me? Yeah, I think they do. I mean, I'll, I don't see why they wouldn't. You're Jim Bob Johansson. That's you. That's me. Not, that's me. Yeah, but that's how you. Come, how come you don't ask me for my reading recommendations? I didn't know you'd like to read. What have you read lately? Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, picture books with, uh, uh, with, uh, yeah, it might be best if you don't ask me what I've been okay. reading lately. Let me guess, do they have naked ladies in them? You got into my books, didn't you? No, I was just, you I seemed shy about married. it. You seemed shy about it, so I thought, you know, it's probably that. Yeah, but let's see. Um, what I got here is a uh, watch out now because it'll hit you pretty hard. Is a piece of animated armor. Right oh. here. See this? This here is a I've breastplate. heard about these things. Uh, you had experience with them? Yes, they're tough. Um, uh, someone you may know, Bodar, had to deal with them. Oh, what happened to him? Did he? Did he, he die? He, no, he didn't die, but he got beat up. Uh, he couldn't handle it, huh? Yeah, he's a, he's a big... I don't know if you know... He's a Luxodon, is what they're called? Oh, he's one of them uh, El Elefante people, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, I've seen some of them in the magazines. But, uh, um, but this here piece of animated <laughs> armor um, is what you call a uh, medi... What's that, what's that word right here? Medi... A medium? Is it medium? No. Adamantium? No, that's a kind of armor. Um, medium construct, which means it's been made. And okay. They're they're pretty tough because they're uh, what we call an armor class of eighteen, and uh, they have like um thirty thirty three health on average. You have but, to ever fight back against yours as it try to attack you? Uh, I'm holding it back right now. If I just let it go, it'd probably hit you right in the face. And we can't have that. Yeah. You know. We could have it hit Richard, though. That'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Yeah, especially while he's sitting in there in the bathroom. He'd pee all over himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this thing, you have to be careful because it's got a slam attack. And it gets to do it twice. But, see. It looks like regular armor until you go to touch it. And then it'll just start like slamming all over the place. Like we could put it in front of Richard and him think it'd be like a dinner plate and him go to get a piece of fried chicken. <laughs> fried chicken fight back. Where did you find this? I won it in the bet. Oh, what did you bet? Uh your house. How did you win? Like what did what was the I bet this uh, Goliath that I can take a point. And he uh, said that I couldn't. And well, well I thank said, you for you thank can. you for not losing my house. I mean, where the hell would I live if you if you lost my house? Oh, I really didn't bet your house. It's just one of those things like you bet your sweet, oh, okay. um yeah. But uh he said I couldn't take a punch. I said, Well golly, I've been taking punches from your ma all the time. <laughs> And I, I won the armor because I got right back up and said, your maw hits harder than that. <laughs> you uh, but, yeah, he did start crying. But, you know, that's, that's really about it. You know, struggling with this little thing here. But it's nice to see you again, Jesse. It's nice to see you too. What do you think you'll bring us for next week or don't you know yet? I'm not really sure. Would you like a creeper? Oh, or oh there's, you like... your do there's your dog. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I've been hunting him all over the place. It's like I'll see him for a second and then he'll just disappear again. He's been in here the whole time. You ain't standing in nothing wet, have you? No. Okay. There's a wet but... spot over there, though, but we're not going to tell Richard about it. Maybe he'll step in it. I hope so. Then he'll fall down and then the dog will get on his leg. <laughs> and then he'll blink into appearance right as he's going to... i better get out of here before I can... Yeah, you you better get out of here. All right, buddy. We'll see you later. We'll see you next week, Bye, everybody. Uh, old Jim Bob, huh? W watch that wet spot there. Yeah, he told me about it. Actually, oh, he said I he wasn't going it. to. Oh, uh, okay. He's a liar. Uh, but old Jim Bob, what did he have to tell you about today? Animated armor. Oh, you know all about that, don't you? I do, yep. I sure do. Uh, it's all good, though. That, that animated armor can actually get to you. It's so actually no. really dangerous if you're not careful. Well, I think it was going to wipe all of us out. It's... Yeah, it, it did. <laughs> Uh, to the point where uh, Stephen used the wish, used the wish spell to get y'all out of it. But uh, that's really about uh, about it for this week. Um, hope you everybody. Any weird news? Oh yes, I'm glad you reminded me about that. Um, we're most of the. Oh, it seems like a lot of the blind community is into wrestling, mm -hmm. and uh, weird news. Uh, seeing as this past weekend was Wrestlemania um Nikki Bella everybody probably knows who she is yep. got on uh, Twitter and recorded a video stating that she was really excited to see um 
that Vader was getting inducted into the Hall of Fame and she could not wait to be there to witness his presence and to hear his Hall of Fame acceptance speech. Oh my, the dumbass. Well, now, Jesse, would you like to tell us why that is such a stupid You, you said Vader, statement? right? Yes, as in Leon White. Okay. I Vader. don't know if it was this year or last year, but Vader has recently passed away. Yes. That idiot she did delete the tweet but, but me, it's, still, it's still out there and you know everybody people have saved it i found it how she is dumb. so super serious she's like yeah i'm really excited for vader to be inducted into the hall of fame i See, that that part there sounds kind of normal because maybe yep. she is but i Go can't ahead. wait to witness you know to hear him speak and to see his <laughs> What an idiot. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how long it was up there before she deleted it. But I just said, thought, you stupid. You stupid. Uh, <sighs> but, bless them. And uh, with that, I guess that's uh, really about it for this week. Um, be sure to look into the show notes for how to contact Jesse and myself if you wish to. If there's something you'd like to say. Or uh, anything else you'd like to give us a shout out for other people, um, be sure to check us out. Follow us on Twitter or Facebook. And uh, Jesse, unless you have something else, that's going to be about it. That's all I got. This episode is brought to you by the Knights of the Braille and is made possible through the support of viewers such as you. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to get all of the latest information and episodes. Thank you.